So we launched Annex Cloud two years ago, and it turned out to be extremely valuable for companies and products out there. If you just look at our cash stats, we have saved now over 400 years of computation, and we're adding another eight years every single week. And this is just talking about our public cloud offering. We're not even looking into our on-prem hosted versions of NS Cloud. Now, obviously, this saves a lot of money for the company. It makes developers more productive, but it also saves the environment because we don't spin off machines, we don't consume electricity, and therefore reduce the CO2 emissions. Since the release of NS Cloud 2.0 last year, a lot has happened. Our team got four times bigger we released some really cool improvements to our distributed caching and task execution. And we have some really ambitious plans going forward when we talk about NX Cloud and CI. So let's dive in. But before we go ahead, as always, make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel to not miss any of these upcoming videos. And also let us know what you think about it in the chat. So for those of you that haven't heard NX Cloud yet or haven't used it, what is NX Cloud? And its cloud is basically your companion to the NX workspace whenever it comes to speeding up your CI environment. So one of the core features of every NX workspace is that it improves performance by applying caching. And so if I run here, for instance, all my tests in this workspace, it will run through them initially, trying to parallelize them in the most efficient way. But if I rerun them again, they will be pulled directly out of the cache. And therefore, the speed is much, much higher. With NX Cloud, this local cache can be distributed such that also other team members and in particular UCI system can use it and benefit from it. What happens is if you run a command locally on your machine, it will be replicated to NX Cloud where other parties can connect to and then use that cache and pull it down onto your local machines as well. This is particularly helpful on CI because every PR can now cache its runs into NX Cloud and other follow-up PRs can benefit from it therefore drastically speeding up the overall CI running times. So to enable a remote caching on your workspace, you need to connect it to NX Cloud, which is as easy as running npx nx connect, which will then install the necessary npm package and configure your local workspace. Remote caching is just one feature of NX Cloud though. It can bring you a very long way, but it really shines if you combine it with the ability of leveraging the compute power of multiple machines on CI. And this is where distributed task execution comes in. So whenever you run multiple tasks on your CI environment, NS Cloud can take those tasks, split them up into the smaller fine-grained tasks that need to be executed among different projects. And since it knows those connections, it can distribute them across different machines in the most efficient way possible. And it does so by taking into account historical data on those runs so it knows how long the tasks take but it also knows the dependency between those tasks and therefore it can organize them across those agents to minimize idle time and therefore improve the efficiency overall. To set up this task execution on your existing NS Cloud Connected workspace, all you need to do is to run the following CI workflow generator. You give it a CI provider, which can be GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, Azure Pipelines, or Circle CI, and this will then guide you through setting up the local configuration. You can also use NX console and go through the visual UI, which will give you the same setup options. So in this specific example, we end up with a GitHub Actions workflow, which sets up the agents, gives the number of agents to the actual workflow that runs the DTE for you. We start the DTE setup, and then we give it the commands that need to be run, distributed across multiple machines. But since NS Cloud version 2.0, a lot has happened. First off, our website got a whole new look and feel, including a lot of different diagrams and visualizations that help explain some of the concepts behind NS Cloud. We improved our GitHub integration such that if you now go to a running PR, it will show you live information of the task underneath directly into the comments and will live update them. If you click on it, you can directly navigate to the actual run and even take a look at the current DT in progress and how it distributes the tasks across the available nodes. We also extended the support for this integration that posts updates live into your PR comments beyond GitHub. So it's now available also for GitLab and Bitbucket. Now, if you have been following us in the past, you probably know that we are performance addicts. We keep making NX faster and faster. 
So in this NX Cloud release, in particular the integration with NX, we added cache prefetching and faster uploads. So NX has a background process, so-called NX daemon, that runs in the background and can perform tasks while you are doing other stuff. And so now, whenever we have to upload cache results to your NX Cloud server, we perform them over that NX daemon in the background. So your command will complete immediately and you don't suffer any performance implications from either large artifacts or a slow internet connection. We also perform cache prefetching. For that, we leverage the NX task graph knowledge and for all those tasks where the hash is already known, we prefetch the cache results in the background over that NX daemon. So whenever you have a, such a cache hit, it will already be on your local machine and can be restored immediately. We drastically improved also our distributed task execution mechanism. So first of all, now you can follow along live as the tasks are being run on those various agents and you can immediately spot failed tasks and address them without having to wait until the entire run completes. We also simplified the CI setup. So now you don't have to provide CI provider specific environment variables, but we rather get that from the surrounding environment. DTE also got more performant and efficient. So rather than sending tasks straight to the agents, we first identify whether they have been already cached before and so avoid unnecessary round trips to the agents and the main process. We also allow now to pass specific flags for long running tasks that allows NX Cloud to more efficiently manage agents and specifically shut them down earlier. Finally, we address some of the fixed costs associated to running DTE. Even though cache hits are almost for free, spinning up a new process and then shutting it down again can introduce some of the costs that you always have to pay. Now NX recently introduced a new feature that allows you to have a long running process to which we can keep feeding tasks over time and thus reducing the amount of fixed costs that you have to pay per CI run. The most straightforward way to get up to speed with NX Cloud is via our SaaS offering. But we have been working with large enterprise and Fortune 500 companies in the past, so we are aware of the increased security concerns and requirements. This is why NX Cloud has a dedicated on-prem installation, which we improved in our recent release. So we now have dedicated Helm charts that allow a much easier installation on your local infrastructure. We also improved the stability of NX Cloud by having the same deployment model than our SaaS product. And finally, we integrate new ways of providing single sign-on mechanisms. Now also supporting the AWS identity and access management. And we also come with SAMR support, which gives you the most flexibility to integrate into your existing EAM infrastructure. So over the years, NX Cloud has changed to become a more critical CI tool. And so to better adapt for that change, we also introduce new plans and a more simplified pricing model. So previously we charged based on the computation time saved on CI, which was hard to predict for users and led often to confusion. The new NS Cloud version therefore changes to a new pricing model that is purely based on CI runs. So what's next? We have some really big plans for NS Cloud. For instance, right now on DTE, you still need to provision those agents by yourself, which can be more or less complicated depending on your CI provider. Having a fixed number of agents can also mean some inefficiency as you might either need more or less agents depending on the task you're running. So we are planning to make it even more simple. You can just give us the number of agents and we would scale them up and down based on the needs of your current task. Therefore, even more increasing the efficiency of your CI runs. We are also planning to provide better analytics. NX right now has some deep knowledge of your task structure as well as your project structure. And on NX Cloud, we see the according running time of such tasks as well as their frequency. And giving you that information allows you to go and further optimize your local product structure to further increase performance and running times on your CI system. So definitely keep an eye, subscribe to our YouTube channel or our Twitter account such that you don't miss any upcoming news.